Hi, my name is Mr. Hurst. I'll be your child's teacher for this year. Um, I just want to give you a brief introduction about who I am and what I teach and just kind of what we're going to be doing this year um, in the different course that you have me for. Um, so first, you know, who is this Mr. Hurst guy? Um, uh, my name is Ian Hurst. Uh, I have a family of six here. Uh, our favorite place to go is Disneyland. I'm a bit of a Disney uh, nerd there. Um, we also like getting out there and exploring. Um, here's us at uh, OMSI and just staying curious with uh, the world out there. Um, I teach engineering. Um, I think that engineering is a very open field that you know anyone can look like an engineer. And so I've made a mirror that goes on the uh, outside of my classroom. So as students walk through the hall, they can look in this mirror and they can see the caption is this is what an engineer looks like and they can see themselves as an engineer and so I teach lots of different engineering type courses and I want them to also um, see themselves as an engineer. Um, a little bit of background about myself. Uh, I went to Warner Pacific like I mentioned earlier. I uh, got my master's at Concordia University in career and technical education um, and I did this as an adult and so kind of my uh, college story um, is I went to college right away after high school and then I kind of took some time off, went and had a family, started working, and then realized uh, I wanted to get to that next kind of platform in um, jobs. So that's when I went back to school in my late 20s, finished up, and then kind of led me to this point where I'm at right now. So again, here's my uh, work experience. I was working at um, Portland Public Schools for like eight years um, doing tech support and then I came to Vancouver Public Schools doing tech support here at iTech so I did kind of Mr. Shuckle's job for two years and then that's when I finished up all my education on my undergrad and there was this path to become a teacher and throughout all this I really fell in love with education and just the teaching process I worked at different after-school programs and I helped kind of build some programs um, even here at iTech that were kind of educational based. And so that's where I found this path to become a teacher and uh, this is what I love to do, is teach. Also, uh, I did work a second job at UPS for like a decade, well nine years, and that actually has come to an end. For those who have known me for some years, um, I'm excited that this year I'm just teaching. And so that's exciting for me, <laughs> less work. All right, so these are all the things I teach. Visual Media Production is a new course I'm teaching this year. Everyday Engineering is like an advanced engineering course um, for upperclassmen. Uh, computer Science is kind of that engineering realm, but it's more focused on how to program and code. Um, Pre-Engineering and Design is a course for every sophomore here at iTech, and I teach three different sections of that. And then I teach a uh, electronic applications, a digital electronics course um, that kind of gets people introduced to that. So we're gonna jump into each of those individually, but that was my general overview of who I am. So now, we'll get into the details. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at AP Computer Science. So this course, um, I've been teaching for a few years, and it's understanding, it's a general introduction to computer science, you know, how those zeros and ones work on a computer and how you as a programmer tell a computer what to do, a program. Um, and interfacing with um, that through code. And so we're gonna be learning Java as the language. Um, in this course, learning Java and being able to make programs, Java is one of the main programming languages that um, are out there in most programming jobs. Um, there's a few other languages that are right up there, but Java is still one of the main ones. Um, so giving them the experience and getting them prepped for um, They'll probably have to take a couple other courses. This is an introduction course if they're ready just to hit the workplace, but this is definitely an intro course that helps prepare them for what it's like to you know, sit down and program um, and think through um, you know, more complex problems and come up with ways to solve those. Um, I think that you know, this is what a computer science looks like, scientist looks like, is the concept of like anybody can do this. It doesn't have to fit certain stereotypes. Um, you know, 
I really try to offer this course as an intro level, intro level course and make it very accept, um, inviting and engaging for all people. Um, I also try to relate the course to the you know, real world in some way. I think there's a connection there and I want people to understand computers aren't just isolated and they sit there in the technical world, they relate with the real modern world. And we see that more and more as more programmers put things together for that. I also think there's a strong connection with the kind of more emotional and soft sciences. So this programming thing can connect with, you know, if somebody's passionate about, you know, helping out people and understanding, um, you know, that human condition. I think there's a strong component to that, that making apps and programs that help make the world better in that way uh, is something I want them to understand. And lastly, anyone can code. That's the main thing I want to uh, have students walk away from this course is, is believing that anyone can code. A little Disney reference for you there. I love that one. All right. All right, so there is one more thing. This is an AP class, and so uh, students can take the AP test come in um, May when it's offered. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna teach directly to the test. I'm gonna teach uh, a intro level computer science class that I think is a good balance of getting them uh, the experience of um, computer science programming. But, um, so if they are interested in taking that test, they're gonna have to be doing a little bit of extra um, studying on their, on their time. So the class is gonna prepare them for just like an intro course but there is the opportunity, and I'm here for support as well, to get them ready for that test. It's just not gonna be directly part of the class objectives, um, is to get them focused on that test. One more thing also is um, this, this class is taught as a partnership with Teals. Teals is a uh, program through Microsoft that gets uh, computer programmers into the classroom um, so that Professionals that have the programming experience can work more directly with students to help teach them how to do that complex coding stuff because, um, you know, not all classroom teachers have direct industry experience in this field. Um, and so that's where this team project uh, or team process works where I'm the teacher. And then we have uh, Jeannie and Christian. Jeannie works for Microsoft and Christian works for Uber. And they remote in um, every week. Um, to help teach this course with me. So they are teacher aides uh, this year, um, just help supporting. So I'm doing most of the teaching, but I have support from some volunteers that um, thankfully are volunteering their time to help teach your student computer science. Thanks.